operating system. So one thing I don't like already, it ain't got a stand at the back, but never worry. But I'll tell you, the tablet is very light. So what it says is turn on the tablet and the button on the side, select settings, then YLAN. So the settings is this button here. So we're going to YLAN, so it's wireless Wi-Fi we call it here. So that's obviously, my internet is here at the top here. So I'll just put in that passcode. Victor, so I hit create. Obtaining IP address. There we go, we're connected. I take it we go back to home now, which is a circle in the middle. So choose the one from your list, right? Return to the home screen and click the red launch icon in the home screen. So I take it that's this one here, it's a Chinese symbol. So we're going to that. So within it says click on the login shown at the top right for the tablet home screen so you have you have not update later right, we'll just hit update later so we'll go login so and then we think we go new registration down the bottom here please supply the real information to obtain better service oh right so username i think it'll just say uh, so we'll just put, we'll just make anything up. So I'll just call it Sandy. Let's call it Sandy Andy. Password. Dot com. Uh, we're going to select the country. So will that be United Kingdom? We're still united at this point. So well maybe it's Great Britain. Well, no, we're no great anymore. Let's come down the list. There we go, United Kingdom. Then we've got to put the capture in. So 6-1-9. So I think that'll do the business. I've got all my details. Let's straighten this camera up. Let's straighten the tablet up a bit. So we'll just go register. Where is my activation code? Your VCI is 12 digit serial number and 8 digit activation code. On the envelope pictured. Mm. Right, I finally found it. You get a bit of paper with all the bump. So there's my VCI code there. And I take it, I must take that bit off so before I put the activation code in there. So there we go, I'll go and do that. There we go, so it says, congratulations, you have successfully completed your registration. Do you want to download the diagnostic software now? So we tick yes. We want the lot at the beginning. So Austin Ford, I don't want that, that, that. We can always download these later. Chrysler sitting there with Daihatsu. Oh, that. ECU aid, Ferrari, oh yes, we want a Ferrari. <laughs> There's plenty of them here in Falkirk, believe me. Fiat Brazil, Flyer, never heard of that. Gats, Gear Learn, GM, GM Brazil. Never heard of these things. Holden, Honda, Hyundai, we've got Hyundai. Oh, a mobiliser key, India. Injector, mm -hmm. Isuzu, Iveco, Jack, Yayo, Jinlong, GM, Joylong, never heard of that, Kia, Land Rover, LDV, oh, Maserati, Mazda, Mitsubishi, never heard of MVM. Nissan, Opel, Peugeot, Porsche, Proton. Never heard of that. Renault. Wish I'd never heard of Renault. Reset brake, reset all, reset sass, reset bleed. Rover, Saab. Why do we make it keep MG? 
SGM it's called a smart sprinter or they're in this country now sang Subaru Suzuki Tata Toyota US Ford never heard the Vaz never heard of that so we'll just hit update here there we go I'll let it do its business and get back to you Right, so I've done all the updates I can do at the moment on the, the launch tool. So just a couple, or just a couple of initial impressions. So this VCI thing here, I've had to end up on most cars using the extension here because when you just use this bit itself, it's just a little bit too wide to get into. I tried it, it was okay in the BMW, but I tried it on the Vol uh, Volkswagen, uh, my son's car. It didn't get in and. It would struggle to get in this little Vauxhall Opel as well. So that's one thing to note. Uh, the other thing was I've just scanned this car, uh, this little Vauxhall Opel, and uh, I quite like the way it scans, although it's a wee bit slow. Uh, not as quick as uh, what's the factory tool? No, the factory tool I use on this thing. Uh, can't remember. You know when I use it through my laptop. <laughs> the name will come to me eventually so it's not as quick as that but what I do like about it this thing looks for all the modules so you can see there right at the end uh, maybe it doesn't show you in here on your initial scan because I went into fault report it shows you every module it's tried and then it just comes up not equipped so I like that because sometimes you know when your scan tool is looking for a module and maybe it's powered down or not working this would this would uh, sniff it out as it would say rather than just skip over it leaving you scratching your head so I like that the other thing I like is this facility here it's, it's not got a stand I don't like that it's fault report I like this so it comes up there and it shows everything in red and it shows everything green normal and what you can do is you go into report gives you all the details there and you hit OK and it gives you this report so th there's this is this wee Corsa. <laughs> I've got an MOT but I've still never got it on the road. So it's got all the details there and it comes up with all the faults. Everything's clear. And the good thing here, you can share it. So I'm kind of doing this, uh, let's see. So we'll save it. Go in and save it. And then you can share it. And you can just send up a Gmail account and it'll send it as a PDF. So I really like that. That's good about it. Uh, let me see. I tried it on my BMW and I tried it on my son's Volkswagen Polo 2010. Probably not a fair comparison, but what I would say, I think the Verus, uh, definitely the Verus, is the best graphing scan tool I've got because uh, it, it works really well, even on older cars, so I like the graphing of that. Uh, let me see, we'll, we'll go into the engine here. These graphs, the newer the car, the, the better the graphs are, but the Verus is even good an older car at graphing and saving information so let me see let's read the data stream uh, let's we'll speed it up so we'll just go to engine engine speed so there we'll keep it there so you can go into ok there uh, let me see if it's got engine oil level ok so we'll start the car up i want to hear this see i like the it's not as fast as the various updating its uh, its values. So let me see if it's better this time. That's not so bad here now. So I'll let you see the graph in it. So the graph looks like that. It's not too bad in this one. For faster can cars, it'll be better. But there you go. It's not too bad. This is a 2008 can car, so. So, I suppose the power in this tool, if I'm being honest, compared to the Snap-on Verus, the Snap-on Verus is a very good tool for reading data and graphing everything, but let's be honest, lots of times through the back door it can't do very much. So that's where, the, where my other little scan tool at Autel is quite good. It can do more than the Snap-on through the back door, and I believe this can do even more. So the power in this tool will not be specifically in graphing but it'll be to do more things so 
giving you an example, I tried it on my BMW there and it could check the key status uh, in the ignition to see if it was the correct key and everything like that. So that was good. I never even had that in the hotel, I don't think. So that's just my initial impressions of the whole thing. As I said, I would like I'd like a stand on the back here <laughs> or a clip. So, but it's not, a, it's not a deal breaker. It's got a camera there. I've never used that. Oh, the other good thing, let me see. I went into diagnostic report. Let's see. Because it's Android, it's fairly easy to navigate. Oh dear. Let's go back to here. I need to go to there. Back. Are you sure? Uh, cancel. Let's go back into here. Diagnostics. There you go. It went back. It was recording the thing there. So. Take it easy. Okay. Well, that's quite good. We can record it. We can see that later on. Let's see if it's... Sometimes when you start and stop a car, it loses its communication. Let's see if it does it with this one. See? We're not actually getting an RPM there. It takes a wee while sometimes to communicate back. But I don't particularly think that's the problem with this uh, launch. Indeed, the hotel does that same. It's because you're connected via Bluetooth. Whereas if you had connected like the snap-on via a cable going right in the machine, that works far better for scenarios like this for stop-start. For let's see if it works this time. See, we're up. The car's up and running, but we're not getting a data stream update. So we'll go back. So we'll go back and see if it's so okay. That see if it's. It's shown now, so let's go back and we'll deselect that oil level. There we go, okay. We'll graph that, I'll show you what I mean. So, there we go, and let's see if it comes back again. See, it's lost communication because you put the key off. Where the snap on stuff's better at that, it keeps its communication. Uh, what else can I say about this tool? Uh, let's go home. What I'm going to do is put in some desktop, desktop, an app to record uh, the desktop, ah, the desktop or the tablet. So that'll make for better videos. But uh, if you have any questions about this tool, just chime in in the chat. But at the moment, I need a few cars to work on. But that's the initial thoughts anyway. Cheers.